This is the vegan anarchist. And in this video is going to be about and this I don't know how my audience is going to receive this but why I am a now a synthesis anarchist and a libertarian socialist libertarian lip sock unificationist. Now why do I say libertarian socialist and unificationist and and I'm a synthesis anarchist. Well, for the past year, few years, or a year especially, I've been very sectarian, and I like, shat on like Cindy, the Cindy's and the Platties, and you know all sorts of shit like that. But what I came to realize is that anarchists, I mean actual anarchists, not fucking so-called national anarchists because they're fascists. And anarcho capitalists or so called anarcho capitalists, because they're just neoliberals with anar and anarchist clothing, who are half of them are going fashy because, well, it happens when neolibs and fascists. Neolibs go fascist sometimes. It's weird. But, anyways, the point is, is after contemplating. I've realized that all our infighting within the left, within the exp not like the fucking tankies, like fuck the tankies, fuck the brochalists, fuck the manarchists, but the actual like libertarian socialists, anarchists, be it anarchists who are communists, mutualists, individualists, and actual individuals are ANCAPs, even a not ANCAP agoras, fucking so-called left market anarchism, or should just be called market anarchist, inclusive democracy, paracon anarchist, to communalism and libertarian Marxism, to the new left. The point is, is that we need to not only tolerate each other, but we need to work with each other. Yes, we don't always agree, like insurrectionists don't agree with syndicalists, but that doesn't mean insurrectionists and syndicalists should step on each other's toes. It doesn't mean that insurrectionists should just go to a syndicalist info shop and smash it up. But and it doesn't mean that syndicalists should get mad at you know the infighting needs to stop. And we need instead to focus on instead of trying to fight ourselves, we should promote on our common values. Because Unitarian Universalism has taught me that that people have different views, but you don't need a religion based off of people of the same views. Not the anarchism of religion. It's not even an ideology. It's a way of life. It's more of an anti-ideology. It's it's the rejection of archism. The rejection. Of, and let me explain. Anarchists are united by the rejection of capitalism and the state because they're both unjustified forms of hierarchy as well as others like patriarchy which they, which Proudhon support but they jock the first self-proclaimed, well one of the first self-proclaimed libertarian called them out on it. And then we have various types of anarchism. Anarchism did produce or began with Proudhon. He, Proudhon just was the first manarchist, that's what he was. But it started, it, even, I would argue, probably, I would say probably even older, or gas is older than ancient Greece and ancient China, but the Tao Te Ching, ancient Greece, as when there's authority, there are people resisting authority within any economic mode of production where that's exploitative. So, us who are anti-capitalists, anti-state, anti-authoritarians who think we should not submit to authority arbitrarily and question authority. We need to unite. You know, we all come from one seed, especially in the anarchist tradition, but that one seed or one template can have so many different expressions, so many flowers can come from it. Whether it's the hippy dippy anarchists, or the pagan anarchists, or the atheist anarchists, or the Christian anarchists, or it could be the anarchists who prefer to live 
is back to the land, simple technology, to like the transhumanist algorithm, biohacking, fucking hack everything, to like the syndicalism the platform is, to like, although I reject platformers because I'm a synthesis, this is what am I doing, but also I also have a little bit of insurrectionary uh, tendencies within myself, but that that's for a later or vi different video. But the point is, we should form anarchist organizations and network with other anarchists and work with other anarchists and lip socks who aren't of our particular tendency. Because united we stand and rule, not rule, but rock. Divided we fall. The more, the thing that the state hates most and the powers that be is us uniting as anti authoritarians. Us coming together to build gardens like the one I built here. Or fucking homeless shelters. Instead of begging the state to give us universal health care, we start whole health care clinics. Seizing the MOP and memes, the means, I have memes of production, means of production. Co ops. Whether you could be crypto anarchists, you could. There's so many ways to resist. And we should have a diversity of tactics and a culture of resistance. And on background between a quick note on the history of anarchism or anarchism, the reason I excluded and caps is because when it was formed as a lack of tendency or tendency, whatever you want to term it as, it, it was explicitly anti-capitalist as well as anti-status. That's the point. ANCAPs are capitalists. That's in their name. That's what they are. So, in conclusion, unite we shall. Unite the Lipsock. Fuck the brochure, except for the brochures and the manarchists and the tankies, sympathizing the tankies and the sock downs. We must unite. We must unite as we may not agree with each other. But we should be open to experimentation within our tactics, within our post-status, and even in the now. We must work together and we must unite. Not just, we must be like the Unitarian Universalists, except not reformists. Instead of having a creed-based anarchism, we have an anarchism and lip sock with values, with anarchist values. And with that, I'd like to say this is the vegan anarchist. No me, no milk, no masters. Earth, human, animal, total liberation. See y'all. Power to the people. Seize to MOP. See ya. And fuck authority.